Hi, thanks for joining me for this edition of the Bell video blog. I am Eric Bjornstedt with Bell Performance. Today we're going to talk about oil additives and we're going to do a little breakdown of what oil additives can and cannot do. If you go to any store like AutoZone or Walmart, any place that sells fuel additives and oil additives, you are likely to find a whole shelf full of oil treatments and they will all claim to do a number of benefits. Now all these claims are aimed solely at getting you, the consumer, to spend your hard-earned money on their product. And uh, if you buy a oil treatment for $20 and it doesn't do what you're expecting or it doesn't do what the packaging is promising it to do, then that can certainly put you off of any oil treatments whatsoever because you think that they are all snake oil. So it's worthwhile to look at some of the more common uh, claims that some of these products make and just apply a little bit of logic and common sense to what they're claiming. So <clears throat> the first thing that we're going to talk about is improving fuel mileage. Can an oil treatment improve fuel mileage? The bottom line answer is not very likely and if so it's not going to be very much. Um, you know, if you're talking about relating claims of a an oil additive improving the mileage on a vehicle, uh, most of them derive this claim by giving some version of they improve the lubricity of the oil, or they make the oil slipperier, or they reduce friction in the engine, and so therefore the engine does not have to work as hard. And if the engine doesn't have to work as hard, then the engine's more efficient, ergo your mileage goes up. Uh, unfortunately, uh, even if that were to have any benefit whatsoever, it would be so small that it would not justify spending 20 bucks or 10 bucks or whatever on an oil additive if you were trying to get that benefit. Um, Furthermore, you have to look at the kind of oil treatment as to whether it's going to have any chance of improving mileage. You could take an oil stabilizer, like a Lucas stabilizer, and not saying that Lucas makes this claim, just using it as an example, and let's say this oil stabilizer claimed to, uh, to improve mileage. Well, an oil stabilizer, all it does is uh, improve the, the oxidative and the thermal stability of, of, of the oil, uh, to keep it from breaking down. It doesn't have anything to do with improving lubricity or improving mileage. Um, furthermore, uh, you can get into the issue of marketing where let's say somebody does a test and they they, they test their oil treatment uh, and they get some statistically insignificant improvement of like one-tenth of one percent mileage improvement. Now, a, a disingenuous company or a, a company that is out to, to bilk the consumer, and, and we know that there are plenty of those out there, well, they're going to take that one-tenth of one percent improvement and they're going to say, hey, you'll get better mileage if you use this. But of, of course, no consumer is going to spend 10 or 20 bucks to get a one-tenth of one percent mileage improvement. So, uh, bottom line, for mileage improvement for oil additives, uh, not would not expect too much with respect to that. Uh, the second, um, uh, second common one talking about uh, reduction in operating temperature. Again, this re relates to uh, oil additive claims or effects of uh, reducing friction within the engine, which then reduces operating temperature. Now, can that happen? Uh, well, with some oil additives it can, but you've got to then ask the question uh, of what benefit is that going to be. Uh, you've also got to consider uh, how much can an oil additive really reduce operating temperature. Now, the logic is that you reduce, oper you reduce friction, um, that makes the engine work less hard, and so that reduces the operating temperature in the engine. Now, there are oil additives that will reduce operating temperature. They may reduce it 5 degrees or 10 degrees. You know, there are some out there that will do that, but you have to temper your expectations with respect to this claim because you still have to remember that the dominant source for uh, a heat when the engine is operating is the internal combustion chamber where the fuel is being burned. So 
no oil additive is going to have uh, a, a, a dramatic reduction in engine operating temperature. Um, so that kind of claim uh, probably not going to be you know that much you know not saying there's not going to be any validity to it or, and definitely not saying that can't happen but you have to temper your expectations about what exactly that benefit gives you the consumer if you're choosing to spend money on it. Uh, the third claim is better engine protection. Now this is kind of the big catch-all claim for oil additives because lubricating oil is all about protecting your engine and making your engine last longer uh, and therefore it stands a reason that any good oil additive uh, well and any bad oil additive too is going to claim that it will help protect your engine because everybody wants their engine to last as long as possible now the thing to keep in mind with this kind of claim is the base oil or the quality of the base oil has very little to do with actual engine protection. What really matters uh, in protecting an engine is the additive package that is put into the oil. All oils, at least all modern conventional oils nowadays, have additives added to them. They have antioxidants, they have uh, antacids, they have anti-foam agents, they have dispersants. Uh, you know, a dispersant will will pick up grime and, and particles that would otherwise damage the engine, it will hold them in the oil film to keep them away from critical parts uh, to improve the health of the engine. Uh, so if you have an oil additive that can extend this additive package, then you do have something that will improve the protection of the engine. But if it's just something like an oil stabilizer or just something like that, that doesn't have anything to do with improving the the additive package that does the real protective work in that oil well then you've got to ask yourself uh, am I really getting what I think that I am paying for so uh, just a few words to keep in mind if you're ever in the mood for purchasing an oil additive to improve the health of your engine so thanks for joining me today I am Eric Bjorn said with Bell Performance if you'd like more information on this or any other uh, topic for fuels and for oils, uh, go to our website, bellperformance.com, and we have another one as well, wefixfuel.com. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time. Bye-bye.